You know when I said Gumbots were 2020? Well, I was a little wrong about that. Because, you see, the thing is, Ed Gumbots have been more popular than ever, actually. More better than Sorbots, if I'm correct. Which I don't really know if I'm correct. Regardless of their, if they're popular or not, we are going to be working on Gumbots in this tutorial today. And yeah, you, you could have said that I am, uh, you could have said that I, um, I made a bit different or something. That, you could have said I had, I could have, you could have said that I made it a bit, I, um, I, I ran out of ideas, so, we're updating our, we're updating our tutorial for, um, AI Gumbots. And I have actually learned a lot recently about AI Gumbots and how to config them or something like that, where either it's their health, damage, chase distance, or in general, they respawn. Um, because, Route 2020, most people have been asking this, and it's time to give them a, video that they'll have, okay? So we'll be going over other things such as chase distance, just as how much distance you need to know if, how much distance they need in order to track one another, or the play players, which they don't attack bots this way now, um, and stuff like that. Um, I'll be explained in the video. Back to the intro. Alright, so hey everyone, this is the Games here, back for another video. Any video we were, we'll be configuring slash um, re upgrade, updating our tutorial known as uh, how to configure a, a gunbot. But this is time, it's 2021 edition. Um, yeah, it's not really outdated, but a lot of people have had problems with it. And slash people are wanting how to make them less powerful, not jump as much, not respawn, and yeah, or not respawn, like regenerate and respawn. As well as stuff like that. So let's hop right into it. Um, we're going over the cool thing. We're going over lots of things today, such as um, stuff like that. So as uh, said, um, the, we'll be using the same AI gumball we used last time. Um, pretty much. Uh, I have a model. Just a little note. Um, you can find it in the description. Um, as always, as you can tell. As you can tell. Oh shoot. As you can tell, um, here's our AI gumball. Um, all I have to do is ungroup this. Put the put the do what it says and put the replica storage in replica storage, and ungroup it. Yeah, it works from there. And as you can tell, um, there's the well, hang guys, I want to fix this real quick. Okay, and as you can tell, there's the bot right here. Um, he's better than ever, the gun bot. And as you can tell, you can tell we're gonna fix some things, but whether it's how to make him stop jumping as much or how to make him um less, how to make him. He has not be as powerful, and like you can see, he's jumping like that. You know, lots of people have one know how to stop, how to make him stop jumping, how to make him start responding. Because clearly, that's unfair to most military games, I'm guessing. But yeah. So that says, get right into it. So let's go over the customization basics, such as customization and stuff like that. And for example, we're gonna be using not Arctic 13, but someone else I know. Um, who else haven't we used in the tutorial and like ever? Hmm. I think I'm not the best guy we can get when it comes to guns. And what better gun to do it then? Um, should I do it? I think I should. We're going over with Vandu334, who is... Who, let's face it, um... He's... He's a gun guy, okay? He's a gun guy, um... He's actually a guy... He's actually a guy that came from one of my tutorials, and, um... He's, uh, pretty cool. I actually know... I actually, you know, I got to know him quite well, um... So... This is... So... Vandu, um... You started short this time, pal. Okay, let's go. So what you want to do is get your guy you want to get your NPC you want to be make into a model. Um, copy the shirt, pants, and bike coats first. That's what I recommend, at least. Then delete this. Then paste this into here. Then as you can tell, yeah, it's good. Um, next, what you want to do is copy all this and paste into here. Two. Ah, oh, crap! It doesn't work. Yeah, that's right. Um. The shades don't work, damn. Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect this to happen. Um, yeah, it doesn't happen that much. So, yeah, I know it's it's a little outdated uh, 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 on that, but hey, it's whatever. Um, but we'll be using it for something else. Okay, so next thing you want to do is um, get his face, like always. Like, how do you get his face? Well, thing is, we're going to use, we have to go into head, click face. Copy it, then or Control C, then go in here, go into Gunbot, then paste it in here, then paste it in here. Yeah, it's 
and delete the other face, which is, you can tell by texture, um, that's the little face. And damn, and bam, which like that, we have a Gumbot and Band Dude, for you before. <laughs> Alright, so as you can tell, yeah, this guy has a good gun, but what if you wanted to have a different gun? Like, for example, a burger gun. No, not a good joking, a burger gun. Literally, a gun that has a chase that actually shoots up burgers. <laughs> Found something catalog a couple of years ago, or a couple, a couple, um, like last year or two years ago or something, and I haven't been able to use it recently, so. Here it is, the burger <laughs> Yeah, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Um, so what you want to do is copy the mesh in here. Um, paste it into here. Go into hand, okay, go into Gumbot, go into Handle, uh, go into Part, and paste it from there. As you can tell, wow, that's not how, how burger works. Yeah, kind of works. That's okay. What you want to do is, what you want to do now is go ahead and go into Weld. Delete the weld. Then what you want to do now is going to get this part. Um, get the part and go to model or go to model. Go into create. Then click the weld. Then you'll see something. Then click the weld. Then you'll find this. Click on the thing. Click on the handle. And just like that, it should work. Oh yeah, that way. So, like, why would you want to use this instead of anything else? Well, basically, what it does is that it like this looks so bad compared to it. I'm not sure, kind of, not sure. Anyways, anyways, what I'm gonna say was, why do you want to use a well constraint than a weld? Well, here's the thing: the well constraint. Well, if you moved it like, I feel like if you moved it like over here, it's not gonna mess up. The it's not gonna. Here's what happens. Take a look at this. See what happens? Like, see? It's pretty cool, right? Like, see that? So that's why you would use weld because if you mess up the weld, it doesn't break and uh, it doesn't. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how I, why I use that pretty much. All right. So next up, now our next thing. So as you can tell, we got all this done. As you can tell, um, what's, one thing I would recommend doing if it's too big, uh, I just would recommend scaling it down. Um, you guys know how to scale things down then. Just go into mesh, go into scale, and then bam, and then change it to make it smaller. And as you can tell, that looks way better now. I think. Eh, kind of, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm gonna make it. I'm actually gonna change that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and actually make this a bit. I'm gonna go and actually make it just be able to move snapping thing. Okay. That looks way better, actually. I'm not sure why it really does. Okay. Um, actually, let's go and put it there. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Alrighty. So now, as you can tell, it's good. So now you can tell it's good, so it's the end of the video, right? Well, it would be the case if we had to not edit, but lots of people want to edit, so I want to go on the screening part and um, configure how to make kind of how to configure it. So we're going to do that right now, actually. So we're going to go over to basic configs, such as walk speed and health. Um, I would just recommend going to health and change it, change it to like 334 and 334 because you now we can do 334. There's also a copy name too because you know we need a copy name as always. It's also a copy name. All right, as you can tell, bam, we're good. Look, look at that, like a powerful look, look at that. And now he's fan dude, obviously. Okay, next thing you want to do is go in. Okay, so now how how like how do we go? How do we go into the screening part? Like how do we get rid of the jumping and maneuver and the like how do we stop it to jump as much? How to stop it to spawn as much? And how to how to make it less powerful? And the rate it fires was not rate fires, but more of more of the much how much ammo it has and stuff like that. Well, I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Um, so bear with me because it's gonna be a lot. Um, but don't worry. Um, once you get used to it, you will get used to it. Um, but if you haven't touched the script before, this is gonna be a nightmare. And yeah, when I was in the script, when I when I started scripting, I, it was a nightmare for me. So I feel you. I totally feel you. All right. So what we want to do now is like um. So here's how we do it. Okay. So let's go to basics. Over to most of the people who have always wanted to know. How do you get rid of the spawning the respawning maneuver, respawning part? So what you want to do if you want to get rid of the spawning part um is delete is is going is delete the C 
is basically delete all of the delete this, okay? As you know, like, delete, like, okay. So what we want to do is, like, delete this, delete these two parts, okay? I just put, in, I just put those two lines there because that way, just if I want to have it back in, I usually just, in, I usually just, involve, I usually just in, do this. I usually just do that. Um, because if I ever want to come, if I ever want to and put that back in, I can just delete those two lines and then bam, do like that. It's good. But that's how I, that's how to disable respawning. Um, disable um heap, and that way it will go away. And that way, instead of respawning, it will um destroy. It will basically just de um despawn. And if you can't, if you, and, and if you get rid of the T that the destroy thing, it's gonna save there. It's gonna stay in the game forever, and it's gonna well cause some lag. Okay, that's why. That's why I don't want to have that equipped. Okay, next thing you want to do is uh, okay. So what you want? To, well, how, what if we want to get? What if we want to do the damage or the risk the jumping? Like how we get rid of jumping? Well, um, what you want to do is delete. So what you want to do, as you can tell, is well. So you see, so on line 54, um, as you can tell, there is this thing right here. Um, what you want to do is get rid of that. Um, get rid of that so that it does not jump. Because you know. If it jumps, because that's this basically what makes it jump a lot, pretty much. Um, so that's why. So that's how you get rid of the jumping um, maneuver or the jumping uh, command right there or something like that. Um, now, how do we get? Now, how do we get? How do we get rid of the um, the dist? How do we change the distance? Go to line 40 uh, on the script, and then you'll see something that says distance slash player. So you see the number right here, 300. Well, that's where you get to add the name. Okay, so. I would say 3,000 for this, that way it follows me wherever I go, pretty much like stalker or something like that. Okay, okay. Um, that's like, that's how you edit, that's, it's basically, ba it's, all I do is, it's just, that's basically how you edit the stuff, edit that stuff. Now then, the next thing you have to do, now, how do you get rid of, now, how do you add the damage? Well, what you have to do in the damage is going to, line it's 88 and 89. These ones are very important because, if one of them is not equal, I think it's gonna break. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and like change the damage to 34. Okay, so you see where it was 10 at 10 here. 10 was here too, but I changed it to 34. Um, change that to whatever number you want. Um, then go into this 10 right here. Make sure the um, the less the greatest sign is on there. That way it doesn't break. You know. Okay. So next up 34, and here we are. That's pretty simple, pretty much. Alrighty, and that's pretty much, uh, that's basically about it. Yeah, I know. Um, and this is more advanced, um, but I might, I might, I might add this, I might update this a bit better, a little bit later, and that way I can make, I might have to uh, update this later, and make it a bit more easier to config. I am, do apologize, so for me it's not as much to config, but in the end though, it was made by me, so, um, what do you expect? Um, but, you know, I'm gonna make it, I might make it better to config, cause clearly some people don't really, some people just don't like it when they do it like that, some people just don't like it that advanced, you know. Okay, so what you wanna do now is, if you guys wanna config the ammo, um, change to like, I'm not sure, let's go for like, for, you know, like for three, I'm not sure why I have a three. I'm not sure to say you want like ten or something, let's do like ten, you know, like one out of ten, you know. So let's go and do ten, okay. So, and you may think like, wow, we're done. So it's like, we're done, that's quick. Yeah, the ammo is done, and the ammo tent's done. We'll be done. Unless you want the, and the guy to start off with a bit, um, less. And more. And what I mean, it's that this one. This place right here, okay? So, how do you do this? How do you fix this guy? So, what you want to do is, um, go to ammo, and change this to, like, the ammo value here, minus one. So, that's basically, like, so, if it are 30, it'll be, like, 29. If it are not 20, it'll be 19. Since we're doing 10, 9. Okay? Okay. Oh. Alright, and then that's pretty much all how you, how you get rid of everything. So, yeah. Um, that one, we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna delete this, and we're gonna go ahead and see how this goes, shall we? Um, we're gonna delete this, and we're gonna go and test it and see if it works. See if everything does not respawn, and doesn't work. Or if it does work. I want it to work, so. I do believe in that. What the flip? He killed me instantly. Alright, we changed the damage to 34. <laughs> God. As you can tell, um, yeah. He's has a gun, and as you can tell, he's powerful. Jesus Christ! As you can tell, he does not jump. And if we like, um, and if we like going to client, and if we like going to client, pretty much, um, the guy client right here, 
Um, you had what you had to do is go and get out here, um, then delete the torso, and then he doesn't respond. Like you can tell he doesn't respond, but bam, just like that, he's dead. He doesn't go away. He's he, does, he goes away. Can you see? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I know it was pretty basic, pretty much. Lecture like, has advanced techniques, and there are some other techniques. If you guys do have any other questions on how to convey your very own AI bot, be sure to leave me down in the comments below. But other than that, I think that's pretty much all I say say in this video. So yeah, goodbye and goodbye. Anyway, thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bell so I don't miss a miss video. And who knows, we might be able to do some. Who knows? I might this. I might make this. I might make an update version sometime in sometime in the future of 2021. But regardless of whether I have to make a tutorial or not, um, I think this is a very good tutorial to end off. Um, good place to end off because I think we we can figure out our very own unique AI gun bot. Um, but yeah. Um, so, as you can tell, and as I can tell, I have like 13 minutes before I have to go to class. Wait, 13 minutes. Yeah, 13 minutes before I have to go to class. And yeah, um, yeah, 13 minutes before. Yep, today is a school day, unfortunately, so. See you guys who are at my school, at school. And computer stuff. Um, well, on computer or something. Like that. So, I hope to see you guys on your computer when we, get, when we meet again on um, our class. But until then, we are out, so. Once again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this BW King 6 now. Oh, yeah. And if you guys have, if you guys, also one more question. Or not one more question, but one more thing. If you guys do have any questions on how to make your brain AI gun bot, how to make it way better, and stuff like that, please be sure to ask, ask them in the, in the, in the type, in the, um, chat, in the, not in the comments, but more of them on my Discord server below. As my Discord server is a bit dead right now. I'm not joking, okay? I'm not joking. Like, the only person that's shouting on there right now is me, six, who uploads my videos or who. Who gives you know if I feel about my videos? So if you guys could fix that, then um, that'll tell me a lot. Anyways, guys, I'll be out, and we'll see you guys around. Peace out.